Alright everybody, welcome to episode 20 of Roski Plays Stardew Valley. Um, you can see we are coming along really well. We're hitting toward the end of spring. We got quite a few uh, tool upgrades, we have iridium rod, the steel axe, pickaxe, copper hoe, um, decent sword right now. We actually have a technically harder hitting one in uh, storage but this one comes with a little more crit and weight I believe so that's why I'm using it um, not sure if it's doing better or not uh, obviously there's a lot better swords in the game anyway so I'm not super worried about that um, but yeah let's hop on in it looks like my quest tab is oh right 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 the coop was built so we got that quest done. Check the weather report. Beautiful day tomorrow. Spirits are very happy. Yeah, fishing is a great way to make some money. That is for sure. Oh! Just a little kid sitting on my <laughs> front porch when I get out. That's weird. Hey, Roski. I'm really sorry for the sudden visit. It's no problem. So I'm on my way to shop for groceries when Miss Lenny asked me for a favor. Miss Lenny, who is canonically my grandmother. I just want to throw that out in the universe. <clears throat> she asked me to tell you to visit Ridgeside on a sunny day whenever you're free. She has something important to discuss with you. I think today's sunny. Okay. So we can go to Ridgeside today. Thanks for stopping by my sunroom yesterday. I usually drink tea alone, but it was fun to share. Oh, right. We had the, the tea event. Oh, good. Okay, yeah, so now we know how to make tea saplings. That's great. Oh, nice, and we can make sashimi, which is also really good. So we're going to have a lot better breakfasts now than just, you know, raw mushrooms <laughs> and uh, salmon berries. Now that, oh, wait, that does not go in there. Yeah, we can just use anything we catch in those crab pots to make sashimi. So, you know, they're like snails and stuff that we don't use that often. Works. All right, and we'll get rid of this acorn here. And then, I think we're doing pretty good. Did I put the... Where'd I put the copper? <laughs> I mean the iron. Uh, maybe I used it all. I might have used every bit of the iron ore we had. Uh, we need to go to the mines anyway at some point. I don't know if today will be a good day for it, but we do need to uh, head to the mines. And we can get some more iron while we're there. Uh, let's see here. Oops. There we go. And then we'll just head down this row. Everything's going real well, looks like. Is that a parsnip or a potato? Alright, we have a bunch of kale ready to be harvested today. Guess we'll grab a scythe for it. This kale is ready tomorrow. Hey, the beans are ready. Great. I feel like there's usually more than one bean. 
Maybe that changed. Or maybe I'm just remembering wrong. Hard to say. <laughs> so, there we go. Got some more kale. Kale is great because it's uh, really helping us level our uh, farming. Which we're going to need as we go into the rest of the year. Yay, potatoes. There we go. I do need to make some more sprinklers now that we can. Um, I do like being able to just water everything by hand, but um, for the for the amount of food we need to grow and stuff, it's just not practical past a certain point. Though I do usually keep at least an area or two uh, where I can just, you know, get more. There we go, look at that. We have a silo now. Get all this yummy straw for the animals. I always leave just, you know, a little bit everywhere. <clears throat> All right. So let's just keep on rolling. That one little kale sticking up is going to mess me up all day. <laughs> Every time I see it, I'm like, oh, i got to cut it down. But it's got one day left. So. There we go. Okay. Let's see. I think we could plant some parsnips in the spots we have left. I think that might be the plan. This is the most strawberries I think I've had on any save for the first year. Uh, I never really try to make this many, but I, I like having them. And now that we've gone Joja, we can really kind of stock up on, uh, we can get the greenhouse going, get some strawberries in there, and just do really well, I think. We, uh, we always need to keep a couple strawberries for when we can make a seed maker, you know? Uh, let's see here. What was I doing? All right, right, right. We need water. There we go. In fact, while we're, <laughs> while we're thinking about water, go ahead and get garbage covered. <clears throat> okay. Next rainy day, I guess we could uh, upgrade the watering can again. Nice. All right. Well, good deal. Looks like everything's pretty well covered. Um, let's see here. Yeah, parsnips, I think, is the only thing we can plant at this stage of spring. Though we could do something like, uh, um, what am I thinking of? Coffee. You can do spring and summer. Um, so we could do some coffee beans. 
and it would be good to have some coffee around. But we still can't make casks, can we? Let's see. No. All right. Well, that's fine. <clears throat> Right, I do need to get some more grass chopped up here. We should stop by Marnie's today and get a chicken or two. Like I said, I like to leave a little grass around so it can just kind of reproduce. Oh, looky there. Huh. I think we already have one of those in the museum. So we'll probably just sell it, I guess. Keep this back away from the Let's see how we're doing. 80 out of 240. So yeah, we're filling up really fast. There's another area right here. In fact, I just saw that seed there. We don't need that in the walkway. We're getting pretty close to filling it up. And I think you can fill up from uh, like uh, areas other than your farm that grow grass. But I love the grass, um, the look of the grass in the game too. I think this is modded grass. I just like to like walk through it. I don't know. All right. So we've done real well. I'm surprised at how little grass we've had um, up to this point. Maybe more will grow, like at the start of next season. But I'm just gonna get rid of this little patch here. We're gonna let this patch grow. <clears throat> Might as well. And yeah, I think. this usually that thing we have tells us how much something co the UI thing tells us how much something costs but it doesn't say for that I don't think it's a lot but we don't need another one there we go Not as much money today from the uh, farming, but that's okay. Oh, let's get this potato here. Did I keep some potatoes? <laughs> Hopefully I did. Yeah, we got three. Uh, okay. Wish I had some more. We'll check how long it takes them to grow. I think it's too long, though. I don't think I can grow anymore. All right. <clears throat> nope. 
let's see here. Hang on just one second. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Okay. Uh, yes, so... Let's get two more. There we go. So we are all set. Uh, let's get some tools put away. We don't need all these in the inventory. Are we doing fishing today? Hard to say. Uh, well, I would like to go to the mine um, at some point. But it's a sunny day. I guess we'll head to Ridgeside. See what Granny Lenny has to tell us. Oh, right. And it's uh, this person's birthday. Sean. Sean. I don't think I know Sean very well. Sean. I think we have met him or his name would not have appeared. Oh, we just sold a green bean. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, let's see. Yeah, there's really nothing that I can make for him. We may just have to uh, you know give him whatever we can find and see if he likes it so hard to get a read on it. maybe we'll talk to him and see what he likes see what his personality is I don't know but yeah uh, we, it would be a good day for the mine too because it's a lucky day but anyway let's head to Ridgeside first and see what Lenny wants Hey robot, you stuck up here? Wait, he's on the Joja cord. Oh, is that like Discord? That's funny. Okay. This might be a clue on like food he likes. Sandwich. Oh no, is that a Starfield reference? Probably not. I think this way predates Starfield. Here we go. Uh. Child labor. <laughs> I 
Okay. Minecart box, okay. Yeah, alright. So the, I guess these don't connect to the minecarts in uh, Stardew Valley. This is a whole new set of carts and we have to fix them too. So Ridgeside really is like the game so nice you play it twice kind of a mod, which is great. I mean, I love Stardew, so. <laughs> Good old Richard. Sorry I stunk yesterday. Oh yeah, so apparently I looked it up. There's no way to get rid of that stink uh, when you get pranked. It doesn't do anything negative. It doesn't look like... Um, but you just have to sleep it off so so that's what that was going on there it freaked me out though wood iron and gold wow another reason to go to the mine today hey Maddie she's just a ray of sunshine I tell you I know people like that in real life. <laughs> Just like, I'm super important. Don't bother me. Uh, sure you are. You might be able to hear my uh, two-year-old. He's kind of working out some stuff right now. He's in his uh, crib. Just chilling out. So, Hey, Trini. Oh, wow. Please don't kick you. I, I might have to after that prank yesterday. Okay. Oh, they're closed. Okay. She seems really nice. I'm not great at, uh... Oh, hey. taught me oh does she go to the saloon I didn't know never seen her over there but we haven't uh... okay so that's where she was coming from we haven't really um, done a lot you know in the saloon uh, at night time I just want to be friends, man. There we go. Got a little shrine up there. Can I go on this? Yeah. That's good. <laughs> I do like the people in Ridgeside, and then a lot of them are like super bulky, which is nice because, you know, people do have different uh, body shapes and stuff in reality. So, kind of cool to see different sizes of people it'd be kind of neat if you could pick the large like bulky body type uh, for your farmer because you know you think that would probably fit with farming doing all that you know upper body stuff all day something here. I think 
I might have missed it. Ah, well, that's fine. <laughs> I don't want to get uncomfortable to get a screenshot. Uh, you can see the little trees are growing that we've chopped in the last couple of visits. But yeah, I think that's good. We didn't see Sean. Let's go to Pika's. Let's see if, uh, if there's anything Sean likes. Somebody likes fish tacos, but it wasn't Sean. <laughs> don't see anything man this is a good place to buy recipes once we get our kitchen set up that'd definitely be fun to do Bert right yeah hey Salute. If we do a good um, mine day, we could probably fix the mine carts in like a single day. But I don't, I don't know that we need to do the mine carts yet. We have different priorities. Let me read this again. <clears throat> Stargazing Guide for Cookie. That sounds like a Juno name. The stars are most visible after 11 p.m. on a clear night. Don't stray too far from the house, okay? Hey. So maybe it wasn't a clear night last time we were out. Was it a rainy night? could go back up here tonight and just see like after 11 all right well we're burning daylight right now <laughs> let's head to the mine I do need to buy some parsnips too I guess we could have bought some at heaps given uh Anton's family of a little bump. But you know what? We're JoJo members. We're going to be loyal. Nah, just kidding. We'll go wherever. I do want to plant some... Uh, green tea bushes let's see here we are sapling okay we just need a couple wild seeds that's easy quest Sophia wants a cauliflower I think we can do that okay so that worked today <clears throat> we do need to buy some of these. Let's see here. That takes six days. Yeah, that would be impossible to grow. So, 
We get some parsnips for the rest of the season. Should be fine. Seven scissors. Yeah. Okay. How you doing, Claire? I don't see how we pass that up. That's a great deal. Okay. That might have been a glitch. <laughs> I'm not sure. But that was a really good deal on those. This is a loved gift for um, Haley. Done. Da, 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 da. Oh, I guess it isn't. I thought it was. Rory and Iris. That's a pretty name for a flower. That's probably from Ridgeside, I would guess. It's hilarious, like, the birthday people that are our friends. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, she loves sashimi, and we could totally make her some. Yeah, I have. I don't know why. I like uh, Corinne. She's cool. She just seems real friendly. And the people that work around, I guess you just see them more, you know? Uh -oh. I feel bad about Sean, but... Yeah, we had the... Well, maybe if I check the um, uh, bin, maybe that was the last thing that we sold, possibly. What's up, Alex? That's great, buddy. Congratulations. Let's see here. Okay, well, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking a break from work. Let's see here. No green beans. Bummer. Sorry, Shawnee boy. not going to be able to accommodate your birthday, sadly. We can sell some stuff, though. That'll be good. Seems like a lot of people like these cherries, so I might keep those. A lot of people like this arugula, too, but... Yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep the gold star cherry for a gift. Okay. Don't say I never did anything to help you, Peer. Kenneth, I guess he left his robot up in Ridgeside. two chickens would be 
I should go to Marnie's. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, okay, let's see here. Get you in there. I guess we'll put the trash in there. That's pretty amazing that we didn't have any, uh... I'm gonna need to clean out some stuff. Let's see, we're going to the mine. Let's give this to the dwarf. Let's put it in the dwarf's house, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But at least that clears up a little space. Okay. I think that goes here. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Uh, should I make some sashimi today? That could be fun. Oh, wait. I need a... <laughs> I need a um, kitchen. Okay, well, we'll keep that in mind. I guess we are still going to eat some disgusting stuff. No, salmon berries are probably good. Salmon berries. I wonder what they would taste like. Hopefully not salmon. That could be... I mean, I'll do like salmon, but probably not as a berry. If I had to think about it. Not to be closed-minded. Okay, Marnie's not open right now. Good to know. Jazz. <laughs> Let's see when her shop says it'll be open. Oh no. He got overdosed on Joja Cola. I've seen this. Joja. Looks like Joja to me. I don't understand. Evaporated. I knew that would happen. It's a mega station. <laughs> Game Shark. You're not necessarily cheating. 
I used to use the Game Shark for um, Final Fantasy Tactics to unlock different characters, you know, that you couldn't use normally, or to put. It's kind of like modding, where you can put the sprite of a certain character on another one, you know. It's a lot of fun. Well, okay, so Marnie is not doing anything, <laughs> so let's just leave her alone and get everything together and head to the mine. We can put the spectacles in there. Off to the mine, guys. Monday. Oh, did we pay garbage? Yeah, we did. Let's just see him one more time. Bye, buddy. All right, let's check the uh, mushroom population. Got some good mushrooms happening here. Love to see it. And these purple mushrooms are really good for you. So we're gonna eat one. I imagine they're real tasty too. Look at that. has left his fire unattended what an irresponsible guy just cannot believe that kind of behavior hey man have some fire safety no Linus I have a recycling machine that I run trash through thanks for asking I hope Linus likes leaks, because you know what, we're going to give him that. <clears throat> Thank you for the recipe, buddy. It looks like you can set that. Oh, yay. Just about missed that and that. The Adventurer's Guild is open, but I don't think I really have anything to give him. Hey, Dwarf, check this out. I have a gift for you. Oh, it's not going to work, is it? Oh, it worked. Okay. Enjoy that, my friend. <laughs> That's so cute. I like what uh, the uh, portrait person did with the dwarf, uh, Oho Davi. Very, very cute. You know what? I brought my fishing rod. Hey, nice. I just, I don't know why. I love the the more frozen sections of the mine. It's just so much fun. There's like some kind of a, yeah, ghost fish in here. Perfect. I think there's some kind of a, f like a frozen fish too. I could be wrong. We 
might have gotten a a perfect iridium star ghost fish right there These are not bad energy either. Whoa, hello there. Well, that was not fun. <laughs> that might be the one I was talking about. We'll need to get some kind of fishing buff to catch it. Probably a better uh, tackle, too. Hey, we're getting some decent trash. I don't mind trash. The time speed mod really kills the time in the, the uh, mines here. You can probably tell. There we go. We'll do one more. We'll see if I got it. catch one more fish one more fish come on nope ah one more try <laughs> Here's the thing. Oh my gosh, am I going to do it? Oh, come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. This is like a good practice for the legendaries. Not quite legendary. a good run. Oh, come on. No. <laughs> Alright, well, it was a good try. It was a good try. Golly. Alright. Let's put all this crap in here. Yeah, that'll be good. All right. <clears throat> Deal. That's right, it's a lucky day today. some iron nice Nice. 
Now one good thing about all this loot and all these monsters dying is that, um, well, I mean, obviously the loot is good, but uh, one thing about the monsters dying is it helps complete those quests on the board in the Adventure Guild, so that's good. down here. Oh. We'll find it eventually. <laughs> Supposedly, there are a lot more of them on the uh, of the staircases down on the lucky days. We just didn't get very lucky on that one. <clears throat> Those ghosts are so annoying. You have to like wait for them to come to you. <laughs> fixed again. I like to have the sword and the pickaxe right next to each other. Would be great to get that backpack upgrade too. We're kind of saving for a couple projects right now. I don't want it to get too late before I give Sophie that gift. Or that for the quest. Nice. Those little bouncy guys give you um, coal, if I remember right, which is good. Thank you. 
think I might play some uh, uh, cyberpunk later on. Maybe get a series started on that. Um, I don't know if I don't get, get a whole lot of feedback. I, mostly on the uh, Crusader King videos, I've got a lot more viewers and feedback on those. Uh, but I, it's hard to get a gauge on like what people prefer. I mean, obviously they seem to prefer Crusader Kings for some reason, which is cool. I didn't know there was that many people that loved Crusader Kings, but I mean, it makes sense. It's a great series, and I obviously love it. I've played it a long time. But it's just funny, like, uh, I think my best video on Crusader Kings has about a thousand views, and then, like, Stardew does maybe, you know, 10 to 20 views on a good one. I think the best one still hasn't hit 30 yet, which is fine, you know? Every, every series doesn't have to be, like... A ton of views and I think I've said this before I'm not a like a professional youtuber or anything so I just kind of get to see what's going on and kind of satisfy some curiosity as far as like what you know you always wonder what it's like what, what gets views and what doesn't stuff like that so and honestly I've I'm not a super professional like, I don't put a ton of editing and stuff into the videos. I just don't have time for that, you know? So, just have fun and record it, and if people enjoy watching, that's awesome. Some chill video game time. Oh, no. Out of room. Let's see here. think oh my gosh I have to get the mouse out so I have a glow ring I thought there was a recipe where you could fuse these two rings together the Magnet and the glow ring. Oh my god. Okay, look. Here, I'll just do it with the mouse. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I, I, uh, I love using a controller when I can, but I can tell, like, you know, if you play on a console, it's probably a little annoying sometimes trying to get to certain things. Or maybe I'm just bad at doing that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't see any rings where it's like two rings fused together. I thought that was a thing, but who knows? And also, I feel like that's worth a hundred. I think I'd rather have a crystal fruit than a glow ring. I guess one piece of gold isn't that important right now. So, drop that. We'll head back. I could probably keep, like, for example, rock and coal. I probably could just eat that fish. Save some room since I have two gold ones and a iridium one, you know? We're gonna eat a ghost fish. It looks kind of tasty. There we go. 
Okay, uh, let's see. Where'd we leave off? About 70, right? Let's try that. Ooh, infested. Oh. Nice. I think from killing the uh, bats, you get the vampire ring, if I remember right, which is pretty good. Okay. Oh, hello, Mr. Diamond. Just one, though. I like the music in here. Hopefully you guys can hear the music pretty well. On these. God, it's so soothing. Hey, nice. Double geode. I approve. It'd be funny if all three of them had the stairs and you, like, just couldn't leave. I always hit these, uh, those crystal things, but the chance of them actually dropping something is so low. For some reason, it's just ingrained in my head. Oh, chop them down because, you know, there's a chance for a quartz. All right, well, I think we got all the treasure. Basically, like, when you play the game, don't stress. <laughs> this is a really great chill game. I mean, stress if you want to. You know, there's no wrong way to play. I just always uh, enjoy relaxing and playing. I just can't imagine like being like, oh, I'm in Stardew, I'm so... <laughs> I'm so amped. <laughs> oh, nice. Let's see how this looks here. 20 to 30. Yeah, so I do like the look of it though. It's pretty cool. Bone sword. So we might keep it for the look. Okay. Nice. doing yeah pretty good on space nice What's this? Is this a Gunther thing? Yeah. Frozen tear right there. 
Nice. Ooh. Jeez, we got a jumper over here. I need to see who wrote the music for this game. I love it. Like this, I think that's part of the reason why this game is so successful. Like obviously it's got a lot of charm and magic from like pouring out of every part of it. But the music too is just so nice. I think I was saying a few episodes ago, I was looking at uh, Coral Island, for example, and I like a lot of it that I see, but just the whole, like, like 3D and everything's, like, looks nice, right? But it just looks too nice, if that makes sense. I don't know. Like, you kind of lose a little bit of heart. I feel like I don't know because it does look like it had a lot of heart and if you like Coral Island it looks like a fun game it just for some reason it just didn't seem to have as much heart as Stardew Valley for example Time to head up again. <laughs> Running out of space. Probably about time to head back anyway, because um, we need to get that thing to Sophie, and I don't know what her schedule is like. I don't want her to like go to bed, for example. I don't know. She seems like she gets really stressed. Maybe she likes to go to sleep early. And I, I feel like I hardly ever see her around, so, you know, like, you don't want to, don't want to risk not having somebody around. Alright, so you see we got this cool looking sword, we got this sword. But I may not even want to use this sword eventually, maybe I want to do... Um, we do need to sell these things, don't we? That's trash. Okay. Guess we'll do that. We'll leave this stuff in there and come back for it. Oh, wait. We were going to leave the bone sword in here there we go oh we have two. Oh, well yeah we're gonna sell one then I saw I was like I thought I left it in there but um so we're gonna sell that we could sell this while we're in there we 
could sell our monster loot. I know you, you kind of want to keep some of that, but um, while we're trying to make some money, that might be a way to do it. So let's do that. Okay. Talk to good old Marlin here. That's not bad. Not bad. Yeah. <laughs> not bad not a bad day so that clears up some inventory space let's see how he's doing what a, is, is Marlin in my list of humans like he really loves the eggs so once I get the slime eggs he should enjoy those <coughs> it's kind of a bummer for example like Shanice is so low and Alyssa Solo, Irene. All oh, right, she works for Maeve. She seems really friendly. Because I like all these people, but I just don't see them enough, you know? <laughs> uh, let's check how we're doing on the list here. We're doing great on the slimes. Void spirits. Yep. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. We also need to, uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, we also need to get, um, Maru a gift today. That'd be great. But anyway, we'll head back to the farm. I love the landscape here. Look at that little uh, boulder block in there, the, the sparkling boulder. It's just cool. What was it that, uh, let's see, what did she need? Cauliflower. Yeah, we got one of those, I'm sure. And then if I remember, we need to go to Ridgeside after 11. Rice is almost ready. Nice. Nothing. 
We'll grab one of those and one of these. <laughs> Alrighty. Fish. We need. We'll keep those. Let's sell that. Okay. Um, I guess we'll save this for Gunther. Do we have anything for Gunther? I, th I think we've gotten Guntered out a little bit. Any new gems for Gunther? Let's see here. All oh, right, and then one more piece of trash. There we go. Let's see if Marnie's open, and then we'll get to Sophie, and then hopefully get to Maru. Marnie may not be open on Mondays, I don't know. She kind of does her own thing. Yeah. Yes, I am, actually. <laughs> nothing meaningful written there. Wow. Well, how about we let me be the judge of that? Okay. Nice. Hey, nice. <laughs> I drink some mead or some tea. Hey Penny, who just wanted to say hi, I guess. Alright. A cookie! Sweet. Trash cookies. I love it. Hey Elliot. <clears throat> That's really interesting, man. Hey, Willy. The Gem Sea. Interesting, I didn't know the name of it. No, but you do. Well, that was some good money. Excellent, guys. We're doing so good. I don't know when we actually get to make the survival burgers. But it's probably soon, I would guess. I remember it being a little impractical to make. So that's why I don't really ever 
worry about them that much. Um, okay, so we did everything. Sean, if I don't have anything for his birthday, I'm a bad friend. We'll just check here. They might have hash browns. We got the recipe. Yeah. I think I'm gonna be Pam's best friend by the end of the <laughs> the week here. Andy too. Actually, let me say hey first. If you'd buy me a drink if you could afford it. Well, here you go. You can tell she's a troublemaker. <laughs> no, she seems like she has a good time. Which is good. Okay. Well. Hmm. Let's just check Sean. Sorry, guys. With all we've done today, we can kind of recap, regroup, and just see if anything fits. Some people just, you know, you're not supposed to be friends with them the first year. So, obviously I have a prismatic shard, but I'm not going to use that. Springtime, prime time. I don't even know. I don't even know where that would come from. Yeah, so we'll just leave poor Shawnee boy alone. Poor Shawnee boy. Uh, we could do something. Let's see. Is there anything we've made? done a lot as far as making things yet <clears throat> the pickling thing takes more than a day so we can do that does he like diamonds I don't want to waste a diamond if he doesn't like them <laughs> gold it's his birthday you know I want to, I do want to get him something he's going to like. Uh, let's just check here. Let's just use the handy dandy internet. <laughs> I know you guys really enjoy this part. But you know what? What are we going to check? So, gifts, yeah, obviously. Oh, he likes a Joja Cola. My man. All right. Man after my own heart there. Well, let's get this guy a Joja. Let's see. 
I guess the best way to get a Joja would be, I think they're still open. So we'll just go to Joja, grab him one, and bring it to him for his birthday. It also says he likes tortillas, so we'll shuffle that down for the future. It was really cool seeing everybody down here, like hanging out. Um, you know what? We're right here. Let's just get a Joja here. From the oh, Shane came in while we were out. This seems a little bit bad since just due to the uh, scene we just saw, but. All right. Let's see if we can find Sean. family oh wait Paul is not really part of that family okay there's Sean so he's with uh, Kenneth Irene and Sean over like to this side of the looks like the like the music stage okay well, let's go ahead over there Everyone might be a little bit freaked out if they know I have them on. Basically, I have trackers on all of them <laughs> hooked up to my GPS. It's not good. But yeah, if I knew you like Joja, I mean, gosh. Look at me, I'm like their mascot. I'm wearing the right shirt for it today and everything. I should have brought something for those two. I didn't even think about it. Okay. Well, have a soda. drum set is dusty well gee take care of your instruments guys let's see here hey Lola Sakiyahi up there, is that where he lives? I don't think so. <clears throat> I'm just seeing if I can find a uh, ridge side chair. I know we already <laughs> did forage up here earlier, but since uh, Karin's out, 
I'm guessing it's Corinne. That sounds more... Feels better rolling off the tongue, I think. Well, we got one of these nice little flowers. That's cool. They're pretty. I don't see any uh, like clouds rolling on the ground. I think that does happen on cloudy days. So maybe this is one of those good stargazing days. So maybe we'll see Cookie or figure out who Cookie is. <laughs> Like I said, it sounds like a Junimo name, but it could also be like a nickname for somebody. Like a Lewis and Marnie situation, which I really don't want to deal with right now. <laughs> Those two crazies, they're always in everything. Well, you know what? Oh, hey, Carmen. I haven't, we haven't seen her in a while. I didn't know that. Wow, that was spicy. Okay. Dude, guys, I've... <laughs> the last couple days when I got sick, I did not feel like I had vocal cords either. That was not fun, but I, I feel like I'm back. Everything's good. So that's great. Let's get these forages sorted here. And then we'll make a plan for tonight. Let's see, we have plenty of those. We have plenty of all this stuff. Okay. Man, we're doing great. Let's get this trash in here. Look at us. Linus would be proud. We have single-handedly saved the environment today. We are doing great. Uh, let's see here. Faye. I, I always forget what Faye likes. We know uh, Corrine likes Ridgeside Cherries. And I think I have a gold one we can give her. Um, Faye. She's a little tougher to buy for. I think really the best thing we find is that, uh, uh, cherry bait, cherry berry shaky. I keep going to call it the cherry bakey shaky. <laughs> Cherry very shaky. All right, so she, yeah, we're not really going to be able to get her anything. And I do still want to be friends with her, even if that locked thing never works out. I don't know. Oh, rich side cherry. Here we go. And I have a feeling when we can make those cherry berry shaky thingies, uh, it's going to take those uh, ridgeside cherries. 
So, it, there is an actual cherry in the base game, so it could be that. But I would guess, since it's a ridge side recipe, maybe you need the ridge side cherries. I don't know. We'll see. The main trees I want to get are uh, apple trees. I love the idea of having an orchard. Oh, does Anton like Paula? Is that what's going on? Is that why she's locked? I don't know. Oh, hey, Lenny. It's, it's going great. <laughs> I love all the animations of this. Like, you see Shanice's when she's doing the checklist and then Faye all fanning herself. That's really cute. Got a lot of talented artists around in the Sardew community. Uh... Someone has lost a chicken. We have a runaway chicken, it looks like. Oh, yeah. The... Let's go to the um, hidden forest up here in the dark. That'll be a little fun exercise. Watch me die horribly. <laughs> It's up this way, yeah. All right. Oh, hello. Nice. Now, I think it always starts kind of relaxed. And it gets more and more crazy as we go. Yay! And there is custom music for both Stardew Valley Expanded and um, Bridgeside. So you might hear some songs you don't recognize. I think this might be in the base game though. I'm not sure. It sounds very familiar. Interesting. Ah. There we go. <sighs> I don't really need that doll. It's just going to take up inventory space. We need to get the, uh, Backpack upgrade, definitely. Oh, hello. So with that guy, it looks like you just need to kind of not back down and just charge him. I have no idea what to do with those.
And the music's already stopped. <laughs> that is one thing I would probably maybe we'll we'll figure out a way to do before too long. Whoa. Out of stock. Okay. Is this a place to fish? Nope. Uh, okay. Well. Alright, so it's kind of on the left side. If we need to find it again. And there's some kind of a shop that is currently out of stock. Pretty good mix of uh, loot here. Two inked fossils. We got a couple of those. I'm wondering if there's like separate places to fish up here, or am I just overthinking things? almost nine so we're still doing pretty good on time this looks like something no maybe just a weird texture or something I don't know and that was like a chicken house down there right if I remember right <clears throat> Well, I guess we'll go ahead and head back. We're kind of running low on space. Really need to get a backpack upgrade or two. <laughs> Maybe we'll get one overnight. Or, I mean, the money for it. Nice.
Goodness gracious. That was a brick wall we were hitting right there. Okay. I think it's down. Goodness gracious. Did you see that little shooting star in the water? That was cute. Okay, yeah, we're out of space now. <laughs> Let's get out of here. There we go. Okay. Just eat this, just to make sure we got some space in case we need it for an event coming up, if there is one tonight. That heaps is probably closed, I would guess. Yeah, because the whole staff was at Pika's. Hey, buddy. Lorenzo. I'm doing great, thank you. So I still can't go. Yeah, okay. Okay, so she does buy stuff. That's good. Good to know. See if she buys anything. No. I do like the sound of that Summit iced tea. That'll be good. No problem, man. Alright, it is almost 11. We need to start thinking about... Getting down to the little area. I just want to go ahead and hit everything we can on the way. Maybe I should have kept that glow ring for this type of situation. <laughs> okay. Not a lot going on. The Midnight Trash Stealer. Whoa, looky here. It's a leak day today, I tell you. I wonder if certain days are scheduled to have more leaks around. Guess we can't get to that horseradish. It was down there. Went this way. I 
I think this is Mr. Aguar's house, right? Aguar. All right, we are almost at 11, so we're hanging out. Don't stray too far from the house. Just keep an eye out. And like I said, something may pop around like 11. So yeah, we'll just Keep an eye open. Like I said, it might have been good to have that glow ring <laughs> instead of the two magnet rings. But it's fine. I think we're getting a little too far from the house. We're just going to look. Roski's in hidden mode. Just waiting for things to change over. Let me grab some tea while I'm... This tree right here is one of those that you can't really see behind. All right, it's officially 11. So let's do our round again here. This little area does kind of jut out into the woods. Maybe Cookie, like, doesn't listen to the notes sometimes. It goes a little too far. I'm not seeing anything. Wait. Maybe they mean the greenhouse, because that's the note is closer to the greenhouse. Okay, let's see. Most visible after 11 p.m. on a clear night. Don't stray too far from the house. From A. Let's see here. There's Anton, Anthony, there's a, yeah, Alex, <laughs> is he go up here, Ag Mr. Aguar, Abigail, Alyssa? She's a ridge cider. Aria. Aria seems more like a bookworm. I don't think she comes out past 11. Probably has some kind of a curfew. Huh. Well, let's just hang out here at the house for a little bit. Let's see here. I am going to 
just have to search this because we're not going to go here at 11 every day. <laughs> uh, so I'm just searching cookie. I have no idea. There's nobody named Cookie on the wiki. So I guess we'll just head back. <laughs> Mission failed. Actually, did I look this up before? No, I don't think I did. Okay, well, I'll just look it up um, after we get off for today. And we'll figure out when when to look for somebody at that house because I think there's some parts of the puzzle that are missing uh, that we're just not privy to kind of like the stink bomb thing you know I think some mod makers kind of get wrapped up in their own community and like inside jokes and stuff which is awesome you know I'm all about it but uh it does make it a little hard to just like come in you know if things aren't spelled out somewhere that you can find is like a clue or something so I guess that would be a you know it's just something to think about if any of the mod people ever watch this So we got that going. There we go. time so we're gonna have to make a new box for seeds <laughs> okay oh and we have ancient seed yeah we're gonna need a new box let's get this bear out here we can put him down on the farm for sure we'll put him inside That's good, we got some spare cherries there. Let's sell these. So yeah, hopefully in the next episode, we will be able to afford a, a backpack upgrade. That'd be awesome. I think we could, like, you know, just selling stuff we have now but I don't like to clean myself out, you know. These are 75 each. We don't need that many. I don't see Sebastian enough. <laughs> All right. And then we'll put this bear down. There we go. Good night, garbage. All right, guys. Well, we'll go to sleep. All right, we leveled up some things. So we got mining, the ring of Yoba, it's Thorn's ring. That's cool. Wow, 
Oh yeah, we made a good amount of money there. Almost six thousand. And not the next episode, but the next one will be the Spring Festival. In fact, we might do like a like a double header uh, for the next one. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Looks like it's Andy's uh, birthday coming up, which will be good. Uh, but yeah, uh, have a great one, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.